Windows and Gutters. All right, good morning once again at 6.43, time for weather on the threes. Much quieter weather conditions to start off this Thursday. Uh, still a little sloppy out though. We have light rain, we got drizzle, not a lot of wind. It is damp and cool though, that's for sure. 46 degrees, right now winds very light out of the north at 7. And you can see uh, the latest update in the rain gauge out at the airport showing this moisture is pretty light. We're also seeing very uniform temperatures with this canopy of clouds and light fog. A little drizzle coming down. Uh, most of us in the low to mid 40s. It does warm to 47 in Nebraska City and Falls City. Maryville, Missouri also up to 47 this hour and then cooling back in the mid 30s as you go north up along Highway 59 and 71 there. All right, we did have confirmation of a tornado touching down at least one so far. It was EF zero here just at about uh, Charles Street and 132nd and then it peaked out just south of 132nd and Blondo here and then it kind of bowed back to the north and northwest lifting around Lake Street. This is one path. Again, the National Weather Service is going to go out and do a little more surveying because we also had original reports of funnel clouds south and a secondary circulation north of this. So they're going to get back out there and look. But uh, peak winds about 86 miles per hour. Uh, the path of this, at least where we had the EF1, about two thirds of a mile long and about half a football field, 50 miles wide. So it wasn't a big one. Brief touchdown, fortunately, only minor damage. And best of all, no reports of any serious injury with this. Could have been a lot worse yesterday with that situation developing. Outside this morning, just light rain and drizzle, nothing severe, nothing that's going to add to any flooding problems. You can see the latest band of rain kind of coming back in over northwest Omaha, and it's spotty. Again, we're in that real sensitive mode of our radar here on our exclusive Viper HD. You can see this kind of backing in from the north and west. Most of it's just real light rain, mist and drizzle, a little bit heavier to the north. In fact, as you go up into the Dakotas and Minnesota, the storms kind of uh, separated itself a little bit and you can see the bands of heavier rain continuing up that way. A lot of clouds though. We're gonna have to deal with this. Still a fairly well defined storm. I showed you this yesterday afternoon uh, about as defined and wrapped up and potent of an upper level storm as you'll see uh, bringing those very nasty storms with heavy rain, hail and even the threat of tornadoes through parts of the area. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with that today. Just a little cool, almost fall like with temperatures in the 40s this morning. We'll sneak back in the low 50s by lunchtime into the mid to upper 50s for highs. I think the drizzle and rain will come to an end as this moves east. We'll be left with clouds, but at least a dry period later today, tonight, and early tomorrow. Already our next system on the way for the start of the weekend. That too looks to bring appreciable rain again. Saturday showers, thunderstorms, even some lingering showers. Sunday has everybody back from Omaha to the north in that one to locally higher than two inch amount. Fortunately, at least right now, the severe weather risk looks to be pretty limited. We'll watch for that though. So light rain, showers, drizzle this morning, otherwise mostly cloudy 57 this afternoon. Tonight, very cool as we drop to 45, a little fog, but other than that, we'll be dry. And then tomorrow starts dry in most areas. Then rain chances increase toward tomorrow evening. Keep that in mind for your Friday night plans. And unfortunately, I know there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend as we round out April and start May. Uh, a lot of the kids, they've got soccer, softball, baseball, you name it, outdoor activities, maybe limited as uh, this could be a pretty good wash on Saturday. You saw the projection there, most of that rain coming Saturday. Uh, fortunately, the severe weather risk looks low and it's going to be cool. Look at that mid to upper 50s right through the start of May and then we start to warm up a little bit next week and our rain chances decrease, which would certainly be some good news. All right, we've really been hammering this home this week. Obviously, we've had two, three severe weather threats out of the last four days, Sunday night, Tuesday afternoon it stayed southwest, and then obviously yesterday we all know what happened there. Uh, may not be a bad idea to download Storm Shield uh, to your smartphone. Great app to have. I know mine's been going off a lot this week with the active weather. And uh, once again, when we get under those threats, you can track that with that radar app. I was looking at that quite a bit yesterday uh, before I got in here to work. So uh, you can really track exactly where those threats are. Great app to have as we go on through the spring season. All right, right now, 647 outside, 47 degrees. Let's go back to Cami for another update on our rather damp start to our morning drive.